Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Circus Tavern for the 2001 Skull World Darts Championships. Introducing for our opening match, please welcome the world number nine from Surrey, Dave Askew. And the world number ten from Hertfordshire, Mick Madden. Greetings to one and all. Dave Askew, Diamond Giza, age 37, Red Hill, Surrey. Highest ever rank in this year, he's the number eight seed in fact. And he's on the back in the last few months. He took till at a 4-3 in Saskatoon. But as Mick Manning's just said, he needs a big TV win this lad, John. Yes, uh, met uh, in Ireland uh, just a few short weeks ago in the first round of the Grand Prix there. And on that occasion, it was Mick Manning who came out on top. But as we've already heard, he's, he's fairly apprehensive about this. These two fellas very, very closely matched indeed. When uh, you look at the seedings, nine and ten respectively, that really says it all. I wouldn't like to call this one, Sid. I rather think that Manning's added television experience might just hold him instead but it certainly isn't one i'd put my life on there it is look at that well we might grand. we don't just type in filling in our balloons still i did it against warner a matter of weeks ago in a tremendous game when he averaged 115 don't be surprised if that goes into somebody's pocket here likely candidates harrington manley taylor dennis priestley i would say well yes but uh like lightning out of the blue, it will hit us if it does, perhaps when we least expect it, Sid. Thank That's you, the beauty you. of the game. First anyway, first leg the 2001 first. Championships underway. Manning to throw first. <laughs> Velvet tonsils in the commentary box, and from Jeff Stelling, Velvet tonsils on the stage, supplied by Rusbury. 96. <laughs> Five sets, five legs within the set. If this one goes as tight as me and John think it might, in 45. the last set we could get a 2-2, then somebody has to go too clear. So there could be a tiebreaker at the end of a very tight last set. Well, Sid, I arrived at the venue, uh, as indeed you did, around about uh, quarter to 11 this morning. And the two players in the practice room, busy working away, getting ready for this very first game with these two men. Put in the practice before the match, and no doubt over the weeks leading up to it. Yes, because this is the big one. 
The 32 here, including Gale, King of Canada. First lady ever in the World Championship. Oh, tensed up and waiting in the wings. Any one of them capable of entering center stage like this, 60. kid? Mick said to me in the practice room, John, earlier that he never came here feeling as happy, confident. 140! Nobody has nerves. <laughs> See if he's calmed the nerves down to pluck this out. 100! Two daughters. Thank you, require 72. Shop so 16, that'll be the start. You want 16 on top. tops. Game shot in the first leg. Mick Manning. No nerves from Mick then at the moment. Second leg is Dave to throw first. Game on. One hundred. So a nice, neat ton for Manning. In reply to that of Askew, Manning, first blood, through first, of course. Now, one of the key factors watch, is the margin of error around the 60. Taylor can get about 12 dots in the 60. That's why he's the best in the world that has ever been. Their accuracy is not yet in the Taylor class around there, but they're getting there. Mick, 100. Mick as I say, John, said he's happy, no nerves. He's throwing very calm. Not a bad uh, marker dart, good adjustment. 100! Yes, I think once the first darts are thrown, I think it is with all sport, isn't it? There's an element of nervousness going into the game, and I don't think they'd be human if there wasn't uh, an element of nervousness, but it's a case of once you get going, then you do tend to lose the nerves and uh, get settled into the game. That's the word, fettle, and uh, it is a good mixture of darts of tension, a relaxation, you've got to get the equation dead right, straight 24. off your Because Keith, Keith Dallas made a very good point. If anybody's going to beat Taylor, maybe they'll get him early. So you can get upsets in these early rounds because there are only five sets. 100. Askew looking to level up by leaving a nice two daughter. Trouble 19 would be even better. 99. Make you require 101. Well, he'll probably look downstairs. Trouble 17 is the shot. Just missed. 85. Dave will require 78. Here he goes then. Once two twelves for level. Bang in the middle of the bat. Level game. Hey, Maskew. Third leg is meant to throw first. Game on. So a level tight game, as we predicted. Then nine and ten 57. in the world. In Ireland a few weeks ago. Mick won. <laughs> oh, look at this for cash. Oh, oh yes! Super special listing by Askew. Well, there'll be a few more of those before this week's out, Sid. No question about it. First one of many. 85. <laughs> Proven to be as nip and tuck as we thought, John Gwynn. And he's murdering the 60. Oh, oh my goodness! And I can't believe it! We've been going about 12 minutes and he's thinking about a nine dot! Amazing, amazing. One for one. So many different ways of going about it. What did you say about being a hey, hunter? We're going to be looking at the triple 20, I think. Unbelievable! So. 81 for 100 grand. Oh, oh so, so lucky. close to the treble 19. Treble 19, double treble. What a round of applause. And there's going to be more darts like that.
between now and January the 3rd. First woman here ever, Gail King from Canada. 100,000 quid for a nine daughter. Open match already has you. Seven darts on the way. What a standard to kick off with. No score. See, legs lost before when a bloke blitzed. If you take your mind off one thing like winning, like 180, suddenly the other guy nips in and takes the leg. It's possible, but Mick could not. 100. Didn't really punish enough. Dave, you require 32. This for the lead, 216s. Game shot the third well, leg. brilliant leg of darts. Dave Askew. Brilliant leg of darts from Askew. Ten darts. Full flag. Super duper. to throw first. But you couldn't oversell a tournament like this. We've only been going 15 minutes. We will have already had a bloke thinking nine dot. One hundred. So Mick's really got to punish here. Could do without that. That's the bad marker for him. But that treble 19 to go back to the nine data, Sid, that treble 19 right on the wire, had it been in, it would have been one dart at double 12 for a hundred thousand pounds. 81. And what a moment it would have been for Dave Askew, but uh, he put it immediately behind him, settled down to concentrate on the game itself. 140. Good two there. Dealey Bobbers, they're all here. The most vicarious, vivacious crowd in world sport for my money. 140. Mick trying to stick to his last, keep them around that 60. He's finding the form at the right time. It's a humdinger, this. 140. That's a good marker. He, for once, his adjustment is not right. You're on the 60. 60. <laughs> Very important for Manning here, having gone two legs to one down. Needs to get this leg to try and kiss, stay in the set, knowing that he throws first in the 81. fifth leg. Shanghai up 20 for Askew. 60 first, get it. It's big 20, big fat 20. Tops to take the set. Oh, 100. It. Chance for Manning then. Treble 19, Mickey double top. 97. 19, treble 18, double 12. <laughs> two darts for double top to level up at two legs all. Knows the importance of this. So early in the game, but double 10. Big double. Pick it yeah, up. And the fourth oh, game on here. Yeah. Tips to head. Starts it all. Fifth leg. Two apiece. Game on. Well, Dave, prowling like a hungry coyote. Well, some people are saying to me that things will get bubbling about half past three is John. You two won't have your work cut out at the start, oh well. 94. Well, if this is a warm up match, uh, Sid, I'd like to see what the rest is going to be like. I'm going to keep some I'm game already. The second round of the undercakes. <laughs> <laughs> 140! Really buzzing now, these boys. <laughs> 41! Oh, the expression on his face, ask you. Really, oh, looks like a choir boy turned hoodlum gangster. One hundred and forty. Oh, it's a forty-one from Manning. Ask you one forty. Certainly now favourite to take this uh, leg and the set. Manning desperately needs a treble here. Sixty. It's a Justin Dart. Just not accurate enough. But I've never seen him looking as hot for the fight. Ask you, dear John Roller. He looks one hundred. Looks mean. Well, it's his third appearance on Sky. He's made two first-round exits, and uh, as Jess Stelling was saying earlier, he really doesn't want to be going home at 2 o'clock today. And Nick 59. did not want you to come away without a treble. Oh, he's, he's hammering the 60. 
Double 18 for a 1 2 1. Double 18 for Ole Sonny. So 1 2 1. That's it. Brilliant dance from Askew. Takes the first set. Welcome back to the Circus Tavern. The 2001 PDC Skull World Championships are well and truly underway. Some scorching darts already, and Dave Askew second about set. to start first the second leg. set, He's having taken the first, first against Game me, Manning. Three legs to two, and Sid, I remember, he went ahead in Ireland in the Grand Prix. That was over five sets, best of five sets, it was 5-0-1. The difference 81. there, of course, was the necessity to get a double to start, but uh, uh, my memory serves me right, Askew went a couple of sets up, Manning came back, so I think both players will be mindful of that. Absolutely. Nothing won until that finishing post is well and truly passed. Best of five sets. First to three. And he's coming out as the uh, number eight seed, as ask you. 140! He's certainly been practicing. His adjustment up to now has been appreciably better than Mix around the 60. That's the key to darts, is getting that second one in if you miss with the first like that. The adjustment is infinite. 60. In Taylor's case, it's with an eighth of an inch. As we see, the technically the apex of the flight and then the weep. He is controlling the last 100. foot of the board to end it the board better than Manning at the moment. Surrey, a very respected county player and international player. We have often wondered maybe if he can get that steel into his makeup, his temperament. 140! Yes, uh, Dave Askew never really fuller, fully realised his potential on the big screen, on the television. 57! Like Manning himself, very much a tournament 40. player but the potential to go a long, long way at this level. Yeah. Yeah. Great adjustment again. Well, at the moment, to the non cognoscenti his adjustment Second of less than leg. quarter of an inch is dominating this match. Then Mick doesn't really like that one. You see, that blocks... It blocks 70% of the bed, so you have to go for cover. 95! And of the two, there is a... Uh, What's the word? A, a tensile quality about Askew here. In control, focused. 140! Yes, knocking the 140s up uh, with great regularity. 2-1-80s as well in that uh, third leg of the match. And he's averaging 103, John, which is very 44. good. <laughs> Finding that 60 Brill, and how? 140! <laughs> 104.33Askew's average, as you say, Sid, that's tremendous, and... Uh, yeah. 100! And somebody said to me this was the undercard. Well, first game of the World Championships, brilliant! 100! Consecutive 140s on an 11 data. Nothing Manning can do about it from there, other than pressurise the shot. 81 coming in. Couple of ways to do this. Treble 19. I think treble 19's favourite. That's what he went for before when he was on the uh, when he'd hit seven perfect darts. That's 62 left. He's looking at Manning's score because I think he may go 12 ball. Otherwise, he'd have gone for treble 10. Exactly. He's got double 13, backing each way, knowing that single 55. 12 would have left the ball. Make the recoil yep, very agile men mental arithmetic going on there. <laughs> no shot now. Oh, well, I think Manning must 82. have been looking at 33, knowing that uh, 104 was still 26. a two-dart finish. Game shot a second leg. Yes, clever arithmetic for the execution. Only going one way at the moment this match, and that is Askew. First leg is going to throw first. Game on. And throwing for the second set. Finding that sweet part of the 60. 
like a metronome. 140. Well, his last four visits to the board, other than when he's been going for a finish, have been 140s. And look at that. Manning at 88.7 wouldn't really expect to be quite this far behind. He's a set down. He's two legs down. But the reason is Askew's scoring prowess absolutely brilliant. Would impress even Taylor. Oh. Oh, and Christian Taylor! Oh. I've been asked who can challenge Taylor! Hey, don't put Askew out of the equation! Oh, 100! That's what Manning's got to do, just keep plugging away, getting the tons and hoping that Askew has a dip in form. Or such bad luck as we've seen there. Oh, Right off the wire. Hey, go, Mick. Say that adjustment to the 60 for this second kind of shot. He, he's, he seems to be losing faith in his ability to hit just around the 60. 95. They even require 140. Well, we've seen him go for this once. He got the treble 20, but uh, he'll be back. Nevertheless, 43. that represents an opportunity for Manning. Ton 40 here can put the cat amongst the pigeons. Again, that accuracy on the 60, just a delay. Good adjustment. 100. Lost balance at the end. Yes, perhaps should have followed that second dart up a bit more closely than that. Treble 18 for double 12. Good dart, double 12 for the set. No, I just pulled it. Right, Mick looking to save the set here. Cockeye dart, still a set, tre treble 17 is the one he wants. He hasn't been looking confident on those big trebles. Okay, John. 43. <laughs> they you require 12. So, double six, nice and handy, quarter past the hour. Right at the side of the ball. Makes an adjustment. The sort of adjustment money the sun making. He's looking a bit of a cakewalk, he's up to number 100. Yes, one of those 13 darters when he was aiming for the 12 dart, uh, the 9 dart finish, you remember. But uh, some impressive throwing from uh, Askew. And uh, Manning has won two legs so far, both of them 15 darters, but it's been Askew with a tremendous burst of scoring who uh, has uh, deservedly more than nosed ahead. The excited chocker block crowd. Uh, give an excellent order to the players once they poise to throw and encourage until that very moment there. He just dropped below 100 average. Ask you, he's been as high as 104. As many as 12 scores, 140 over. Three 180s and nine other major scores. That is tremendous. 45. Uh, this is the first game of six days of the World Championships here at the Circus Tavern. Some circuses, they start with the clowns and then with a high wire. With darts, of course, we start with a high wire and then go higher. And no net. Excellent standard here in Essex. His adjustment around the 60s. He's, he's waltzing up and down the hockey, trying to work the line out now, trying the treble cover. 97. <laughs> Brilliant adjustment around the 60. Yeah. Yes, it's 418. Yeah. And you're quite right, Sid. Superb adjustment. It does uh, matters about his his temperament that he doesn't want an early bat. He's a number 18. 37. Best chance to shine on telly. And he's come out and he's shone. Still make it with 40. a chance. Make you require 97. Needs this. Trouble 19 tops. 90 left. Needed treble 18 to double it. Ask you, we know quite capable of a 140. He's hit a few of them. 41. Can he get the two treble 20s? Double 10. 140. Tom. Definitely on double ten. Oh, this will shake the joint. He's already got seven towards a nine dot. This will. Yes. Oh, my goodness! Only oh, match! Standard worthy of a final from Askew, anyway! Magic stuff!
second leg is Dave to throw first. Game on. Well, a 180 in that leg, a 140 finish, and uh, having hit so many 140s already today, I think that's his 10th, and uh, that one as a finish certainly, certainly 60. giving him a major advantage and putting him, surely, Sid, unless Manning can somehow dig deep and find something, putting Askew well on his way now into the second round. Well, it's the sort of darts, I'm trying to put the customers for you. Taylor sometimes starts slow in his matches, then round about set number three, out comes the power, and he goes to a, an average over 100. The interesting thing about this is, he has come 60. out, and within a matter of three or four legs, he's been averaging 100. Askew on fire here. Yes, and he's maintained it, hasn't he? He's maintained it, leg after leg after leg. 100! The adjustment to slack there, but still he's averaging 98.5, he's asking you 88 to make. It's he, he can't win with a surge, it's going to be a sustained burst now. Yes, the last thing on, on uh, Askew's mind will actually be his average, we know that. He oh, knows in his own mind that he's playing well. He knows that when he leaves the stage, he'll be able to say, I'm really put it together. It was worth all that practice, worth all the effort. And uh, although the game is far from over yet, surely the way Askew is throwing, he, he will not literally throw this away. Some players prepare for this tournament different ways. In the old days, Eric Bristol used to play the length of a 11 set game against a friend twice a day. Taylor's been away for two weeks in monastic seclusion, practicing five hours a day. Askew has been practicing hard, knowing that he has to come here and start well. It is showing up. 100. They do require 140. Well, he did it last leg, but not this time. So Manning will come back to attempt to win his first leg. 60. In six. So, it was the fourth leg of the match, the last time he took a leg. Genuine chance to get back in this set. 25-17 will leave tops. The big top for Manning in the circus. 42. Got to take chances like that. He wants another big 20 and tops. Might hit the flight. Just pulled the dart slightly. Yes, you could hear the click of the wire. Now then, Manning for one leg all. Got to come down some way. That's perfect. I think his facial expression says it all. Needed that leg. Back in this set. And uh, with the darts, said if he can get this set, and very, very is much in the melting pot again. Said a burst is not enough. He has to, has to put together 30 to 50 darts to turn this one around as Mick. Slight signs of that brilliant adjustment that took him to 105 60. average is slacking off now by Askew. <laughs> First to three sets, goes through to the next round. But then, you see, Mick follows some good darts with the bag of nails. <laughs> 100! Well, another 70 ton, but uh, that was a 140 uh, a few minutes ago. They were going in very easily indeed. Now, if Manning has got a chance to get in the game, it's whilst Askew, by his own high standards, has just dipped a touch. It's average now, 95, 96. That's come down from 104. 60. Got to take advantage of this. Uh, may not uh, last for too long. Uh, to, to walk along, two feet walk along the hockey means that you're throwing the dart further. Hence, increasing problems. 59. Needs tighter cover than that, I think. Twenty-four. 
shot a block here, John J1. Yes, despite the overnight Six. snow and uh, queues this morning, even when we arrived fairly early on, they were lining up outside, wanting the best seats in the house. Yeah. 85! Doesn't matter how you get here, a snowplow will do. But one has to say that keeping cool won't benefit Mick Manning. He's got to get really hot now. There's no sign of consistency. 36. <laughs> yes, if Askew wins this leg, it'll be the least impressive of those he has won. And uh, whoever wins this really will have done it by default because neither player has gone particularly well in this particular leg. True. But he must forget what happened in Ireland as well. Yes. When yes. they came back from a very similar position. 119. That's a great effort. They require 131. 51 left. 19 leaves, double 16. 99. Well, I'll mention it consistency. 32. I didn't reckon Askew would go off the bile so quick as Mick goes for double 16. He had to start a mini revival. Get it. Big money. Well, the last really impressive dance that Askew has thrown game on. in a, we have to repeat, a very impressive performance so far was the 140 checkout, the first leg of this set. Since then, two relatively indifferent legs, but is that the signal that he's back on song? Because if it is, it could be a three sets to nil win. But if Manning takes this or the next leg, 2-1. Game on. Well, he's just lost the... 81. Lost that poise for the first two darts anyway there. So the game could be on the cusp. Crowd know that. Mick might throw a few cock-eyed ones, but a couple of spurts now will cash in on this slack patch by a burden. 25. <laughs> Don't mind that high lie, you can duck them under. 100! Yes, the second throw running where the third dart has made the score with that treble 20. Lovely feeling for a player. And look at that third dart. <laughs> Been a good leg this for Askew. 120! Yeah, if uh, this goes the way it's going, Mick's gonna be up against the wall in the next leg. 91! you require 60. To make it level at two apiece. He wins. Yeah, yeah, he he's a bit. A well, after a bit. Well, you never can tell it is. After a blip for about 10 darts, Askew with a break seed, he could be poised to take Mick Manning. Well, Manning knows he's got to take advantage of throwing first. And if he doesn't, and he hasn't, this could be the beginning of the end. Difference between them, illustrated in those six darts. Beautiful grouping from Askew. Absolutely, yeah. His average has been as high as 105. He attempted the nine dart. He got the seventh dart. Did Askew? His average is down a bit now. Yes, and I think to have 32 three-figure scores, including four 180s, in what is a relatively short game, speaks for itself. It's, it's when the confidence reruns in him. Make it 33, and. I was right, Sid. That was only a temporary dip in yep. his form. He's back now. Oh, good darts, though. Good darts. Yeah, Manning, what a game! Boy, if ever he needed a 180, it was then. Different talk. Manning's got to make a big Mickey hole in this. Well, that's, that's Mick. Giza one minute, diamond the next. Not a good first start. One, two, five left.
opponent on a three daughter. 55. Here we go then. Well, he's done it once today. 61 left. 28, double 14. Oh, oh lucky on the wire! To nail the match in style! 67 inch out! This to save the match! 66 left, gotta go 16 ball. Bullseye to save. And with the save! Yeah. Brilliant! Oh, oh. Wallet, what a match! Yeah. Opponent misses a 1 to 1! Mick slams in a bull to save it! First match! Can we have an ECG in Coventry? In game of darts, it's Mick Manning fighting back with the bullseye after his opponent Bullseye. Dave Askew had a shot at double 14 for the match. Game on. And as you hear, game very much still on. What a match, Sid. Great, Absolutely. great finish by Manning. The number eight seed here, Dave Askew. Never shot on TV tournaments before. Come out and hit in no time at all, an average of 105. He's ploughed in 30 shots of over 100. And Mick Mallon just planted that ball. Also, asking what a good in nine dart. I got to the seven dart. And this is only the first game. The story of the match has been more consistent, thrown around the 60 and brutal finishing by Askew. But Mick's got this weird surge in the times when you don't expect. Still not over. And John, remember Ireland, the Grand Prix. Yes, Askew on his way to victory, and Manning bit back. 100! Is history going to repeat itself? Just two months later. 140! Well, if he has anything to do with it, he's still banging in the 140s. Yeah, I don't know about Murray Walker coming in with his trousers on fire. Our tongues have been on fire in here with this one. <laughs> Phenomenal start to a tournament. Don't remember a world champion that started off with a belter like this. Hard act to follow. 100! Follow it, they must. Bit more poise about Mick now. I think getting that one under his belt might have just taken the nerves off him. 100! And it could get a real that fun miss, John Quinn, if we went to a decided set. Well, they did the treble 19. Treble 10 will. 89! So Manning 101. Make him 101. Against the throw here. That's his own way of doing this one, John. He's went for treble 14. Trouble Still a chance. Team leaves double 18. Double 18 now for a wonder lead in this fourth set. Yeah. And one finish. Big money. Well, he's got his act together. He has said a bull finish to win the second set, uh, to win the third set, and now a very Sunday impressive one on one finish first. to nose ahead in the fourth. More patches than a haberdashery shop, Mick. But it could work. He's, he's kept pegging in. He's had odd flushes of blood. And the game could be about to turn. That, you see, there's a 60. bit of lack of composure coming into. This is exactly what happened in Ireland when he was 2 nil up against Mick. Mick gradually lost the nerves halfway through and just look at this! Oh, it's in everything now! From drain to horse-drawn carriage in seconds, Mick! And revolving around one, one dart that ran him through when he hit the ball. Had he missed that, surely Askew would have stepped up and finished it off might yet be preying on their minds respectively in different ways. 140! Well, he's not the same player as 10 minutes ago. Mick has somehow relaxed in the consistency. This lad has got it. Oh, we're not going to see urgency. Desperate. There's an urgency that wasn't there before. Askew has lost the coolness and Mick's just inspired. 
Well, 50 left, but I think he's staying up at 18 to leave 32. 92. With Askew being way back. Didn't risk the ball on that occasion. Didn't need to. By Jove, when he did need it, did he find 100. it? 100. Mick, you require 32. Two sixteens to Mick. That's an awkward one, that. He's going to go high or low. Oh, he's blocked high in the middle of the bed, the easiest part of hit. He's going to go to the edges. No score. Yeah, he stepped right across. We just saw right at the end there how far across he'd gone for the angle to try and just nick that inside. 81 left. Needs double 12. Oh. 77. On the wire. Make right then, this is for 2 nil. In this vital fourth set, he's in there. Could be going easily to a decider, and this brilliant match. 105 average. Then they go to nine dart. Early doors by this lad. Then Manning. I said he might need more than patches. He's patched. He's picked. Now he is automatic stitching. Is Manning? Well, Askew earlier said when he was on a roll, won five legs on the trot. And including a 3 0 set two win. And uh, since then, Manning has won five out of six. He's at a 180, had a bull finish, a 101 finish, and a 177. His average is about eight down from Askew's, but it's 16. still almost a level game. Because the way Askew's composure has dented, and Mick has had a rush of blood from brain to wrist. Well, Askew knows he's, he's been an eighth of an inch away from a three sets to nil victory. And he would have thoroughly deserved it. But uh, Manning 100. has forced himself back into the match by his own efforts. All credit to him. And number nine and ten in the world, we knew it was going to be tight. We thought it would look like a runaway at one stage. But now, <laughs> take it from us. 131. It's and they know it too. Good adjustment. Needs one more. 81. Yes, Manning, for the match, has 25 points to his advantage, plus these. So, should be See, first to the double. He was l leaving them a quarter of an inch outside that 16. Now, when he misses the two, he's 16th of an inch. Deserves to go to a decide and set this because of the comeback. By Manning. Left, Sid. No, sorry, interrupting, but uh, 95, he'll come down. Yes, 38 when he goes. That's a terrific shot. Still hitting the big shots, Askew. Needs the treble 18. Quarter of an inch away. 57. Right then. Dave, you require Not necessary for him to go with double line team, but I think he's looking at it. Game shot. Got it. Thought he might do an each way bet. Straight for it, keeping the pressure on Mick.